Good morning. Thank you very much for, for this warm welcome. I'm so glad to be here with you in front of you to, to speak about boundaries, uh, this uh, important historical moment where we have to think about going on beyond the boundaries. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I'm happy to be in the, your Yasha University, invited by the Faculty of Architecture. Well, to, today um, I will speak about the necessary change and let's say deep change on our way of thinking and building architecture. Uh, all the projects you're going to see uh, are made by, I conceived and, and realized by my atelier in France. They are in Paris and in Rennes, in, uh, Rennes is in Brittany. So I can say that uh, I'm retired from the, the teaching in, in, in metropolitan France, but I go on teaching in La Réunion, in the School of Architecture in La Réunion, because the tropical climate is very important to understand what will happen in the other climates. And, uh, well, in fact, in, uh, as architect, our practice uh, always began by words before uh, form. And um, and sometimes we speak about architecture every day, all the days, and maybe only about architecture. But let's so let's speak about architecture, and maybe for, first of all let's speak about its benevolence, as you remember, uh, Mathieu. Architecture provides a service, uh, installs life as soon as the request of it, for it is manifest. Secondly, there is this empathy. Architecture, uh, as architecture speaks about the solitude of the individual and for and his and or for her desire for community. In fact, architecture manages the tra to transform each individual insufficiency into a relationship. But there is also an alchemical uh, capacity of architecture. It scopes a lot to global perspective on the world of the abstract and material data, and they combining them into create to create human conditions, human situations. And above all, um, architecture has a wonderful complicity with life. A project of collective awareness. Architecture is, in my eyes, at least the installation of everyday life through matter disposed with benevolence. And of course, architecture does not hold the key of the meaning of life, but, and I still don't know how, it is an accomplished, uh, accomplice, accomplice of life. It does not hold the secret of its installation. To install is not to understand, but more to invest a place for passing meaning than this passing meaning is life. In fact, this eternal architecture is uh, going through a singular period at the beginning of the 21st century. The relations we have with nature for millennia are changing and the human establishment are evolving in their wake. We know it, we cannot be, there cannot be an infinite growth on earth that has known limits. And we know this since 1972 and the Club of Rome. So we have to think about the future, but let's begin with the present, because as said the French philosopher Edgar Morin, the future is born of the present. This means that the first difficulty on seeing, thinking about the future is the difficulty of thinking about the present. Blindness on the present makes us ipso facto blind to the future. So what is our present? The anthropogenic cause of global climate change has been confirmed and is due to the greenhouse gas emission caused by human activity. Since 1860, the 20 hottest years have been the 20 years we've just lived through. And the current global temperature increase is plus 1.18 degrees Celsius. 
we know that the plus one uh, plus one point five degrees Celsius mark, which is an important step, will be exceeded in 2030. And at the end of the century, the hypotheses are now plus two or plus, plus 2.8 degrees Celsius. The pictures, these pictures are not science fiction. They are pictures of a time already passed before the plus 1.18 degrees Celsius. Tornadoes, sandstorm, sea level rise, drafts, fires, floods. So what will be our situation after the plus 1.5 degrees Celsius? During the 13 uh, last, uh, during the last 30, um, oops. Yes, okay. During the, the last 30 years, uh, 4,000 billions of damages from natural catastrophes, but the Americans say now, unnatural cat disasters. And of course, 2.5 million of deaths. Last year, just in one flood in Pakistan, uh, 1,400 deaths. And of course, the drama in Turkey. And some uh, specialists are today um, studying the, the correlation between the global warming and the earthquake. 60% of the global waste comes from the construction, demolition, and maintenance. Air pollution kills more than wars, hungers, and pandemics, 8.8 million per year worldwide. 38% of the greenhouse gas emission comes from the building, 20% from the transportation. When you, when you produce a, a, a bag of uh, uh, Cement, Portland cement, there is an emission between nine and seven uh, percent of the global gas, uh, global house gas emissions. And when you take a plane, it is between three and four. So maybe we have to do something with the cement. One ton of re reinforced concrete emits one ton of CO2. And to make one Square meter of concrete building needs 80, uh, one, uh, 800 kilograms of, re of uh, reinforced concrete. So it means that one square meter emits um, 800 kilograms of CO2. The control of the resource is at the origin of the contemporary wars. In fact, all our choices are geopolitical. Despite efforts to fight the global warming, greenhouse gas emission is still increasing. The sea level is not a hazard, a, political, a potential risk, but it is a reality. Plus 80, 18 centimeters in the 20th century, plus one meter during the 21st century. And if we reach uh, plus two degrees at the end of uh, in, um, in three century, the sea level will have uh, uh, will be higher of between two and three and six meters. So the time is for immediate action. We have to prepare ourselves to the decades to come, but we don't must give up for the century to come. We need to be able to get out of the today's prison. In the words of Janine Delonois, in her introduction of the Meadows reports. In this sense, I admire the inhabitants of the commune of Le Prêcheur in La Martinique, one of the islands of the fresh French West Indies. Their commune is confronted with a sea level rise, cyclonic swells, tsunamis, earthquakes, earthquakes, volcanic eruption, soil liquidation, and lars. It is essential to relocate 
to relocate a significant portion of the population to safe lands. And my studio accompanies them in this project. Their ability to understand the, their present situation, to understand the present of their situation, has been the object of a real work against denial. There is no more collective denial. Of course, there are still some, let's say, small individual denials. It is rather my neighbor who is mostly concerned. But together, they, have, they are building a future in line with our contemporary situation. Five years ago, uh, facing the responsibility of builders and in order to federate all those who were committed in, the, in an alternative path with two friends, a civil engineer, in, a civil engineer Alain Bornarel, and an architect author, Dominique Gauzin-Muller, we launched a manifesto for happy frugality, happy and creative frugality in the architecture and the development of urban and rural territories. We did not choose sobriety because sobriety has become an injunction. You must consume less energy. You must emit less CO2. You must use less water, et cetera, et cetera. But to build a narrative for the future, we, need a, we needed a positive uh, goal. We have choose frugality because it comes from the, because the word frugality comes from the Latin word to fruit, Frugality is the harvest of the fruits of the earth. It is fruitful when it does not harm the, 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 the earth and when it suffices those who practice it. The manifesto becomes an um, international movement. The movement has more than uh, 5,000 5, signatories from over uh, 80, uh, 90 countries, including Turkey. There are groups in all the regions of France, in France and in the overseas territories. Our objectives are close to those of the Club de Rome, which published the Factor 4 report in 1997. If you see the subtitle, or it is in French, so I translate it. Uh, the, subtitle, the subtitle says, it is about finding twice as much well-being while consuming half has many resources. I don't see what what is, uh, is there another program for the future? I don't see it. We have to do that. I have summarized it in, in one of my last book called Better With Less. And it is not less is more. And it is not the, the less is more, oops, I do this. Don't, don't worry. It's okay, thank you. So better with less, it's not less is more. It is not, uh, um, um, it, more is, is so modern, you know? Twice as fast, further, wider, higher, more, more consumption, etc. It's finished. We know how to design our project facing the responsibility that can no longer choose between humanity and nature. We are an integral part of the earth, acknowledge at least, at last, independency will spare nothing and no, no one. Every year in, in, um, every year in Europe, uh, we build 1% of the existing, of the equivalent of the existing buildings. So each year we add 1%. In this 1%, what is the part that is sufficiently equal responsible to participate to the reduction and to participate to factor four to reduce the impact of the building words? Well, I, I think nearly nothing. So the work of the 21st century in the developed countries responsible for the climate disturbance consists in rehabilitating the world already there, consists in we have to repair it. Here are some examples of the works I've been doing with citizens' participation because, you know, the existing world is inhabited. 
and we have to work with the people who, who inhabit this existing world to repair it, to rehabilitate it. Uh, here are people involved in as citizens in the projects since 1991. Let's detail just one project. I've been invited uh, to build one 120 dwellings in Bordeaux uh, on a long site. It was a formal industrial estate between the social housing blocks and bourgeois stone houses called a shop in Bordeaux, very small. Uh, and um, in fact, I could not conceive this project without having spoken to the neighbors. So um, for this competition, uh, I didn't draw a, a zero uh, format for the project. I came with just a A4 sheet on, on, and I explained that next month we have to do the neighbor's party and to explain that the month after we will be on a bivouac on the spot to meet everyone. And in fact, the, the, the project owner has the courage to choose us. And I'm only and I'm absolutely conv convinced that right now architecture requires for architects not to speak in a position of authority, but to adapt it it it, it project to the common lot. I sense that this benevolence, this love, in fact, this tenderness for people, for the seeing of the earth are necessary for architecture. And it comes from the idea of the common good. And if you know the, you have this common good omnipresent in all the theoretical texts on architecture, things with reviews. So we, we did with the neighbors, we did the neighbors party and the bivouac. We went, we went to all neighbors houses in order to understand with their eyes, their worries about the new project. Then during one year, we saw each other regularly in, and because I think that in sustainable uh, design of human establishment, we seek less who has the authority than what holds authority. And the shared project holds authority. I like very much the, this, uh, this picture. You know, it is like in the Flemish painting, the presentation of the child, and you see all the all all the, the eyes, and this woman who has her hand on her mouth, uh, on her mouth. In fact, she thinks about uh, her uh, um, ninety years old neighbor who could not come with us, and uh, for whom we did not do what was necessary. So we went to see this old lady. Everything is arranged, and the resistance and the resident and not the resident uh, came with us to file the building permit at the Bordeaux City Hall, which is not never been seen in Bordeaux. So architecture, this is the, the, the global project. Architecture remains the condition of the repose, the foundation of life, and is this project the very articulated scales to spare the world already there? the building and the landscape are mixed. But there is also innovation. This is the, the mix between landscape and architecture. But there is also innovation. In this building, and you see the south and the north facet, there are 12 dwellings. And, and we designed the dwellings without any control ventilation system, nothing. Although in France, the law, uh, it is the law to, to put uh, control ventilation systems in the buildings. The ventilation comes only naturally. Ventilation comes from the opening of the windows and the specific inlets, and the air quality is controlled by CO2 uh, sensors. It comes from a drawing of a plan in which there are windows in all the rooms where all the apartment, all the apartments are crossing, have two opposite faces, facets, and the inhabitants are the active actors. Inhabitants who love, who live in a space that is happy to live in, where the air is healthier and is filled with natural uh, light, 
as you see, um, uh, you have a window for the closet, a window for the um, uh, um, bathroom, excuse me, of course, the kitchen and for all the for all the other rooms. And this is the first time it is done in France since uh, Osman, because it was like this before. <clears throat> Regality in architecture leads to a preservation of the resources and the use of low techniques, such as natural ventilation, biosourced, geosourced, and reused materials. As soon as you looked for the specific for the specific resources of a place, physical and human resources, a very large catalog of solutions opens up. As you see, there is not only concrete here, but earth, um, wood, straw, tiles, etc., etc. And we can in increase the field of possibilities by inventing new geosourced mat materials, like, for instance, the oyster concrete that I'm using in front of the Oyster Museum in France. But there are, there are the solid matters of architecture and there are the fluid matters of architecture, the air, the light, and the heat. The reality of architectural space comes from the interaction between all these materials. The inertia of one serves to the performance of the other. The color of one serves the power of the other. The texture of one increases the quality of the other, such as the face shift, for instance, lightness, etc., etc. In fact, this interaction depends, of course, all, also on climates and on culture. The Enlightenment philosopher Denis Diderot wrote uh, to, to his friend uh, uh, Friedrich Melchior, Melchior Grimm. Uh, it is said that architecture is a limited art, and so it is in the mind of architect. But in itself, I know none other as capacious, if within a project you take into account time, place, people's destination, you will see an infinite variety of spaces, of void, of forms, of ornament, and of everything that belongs to art. It may seem strange to go back to the 18th century to find an argument serving to lay the foundation of a narrative for the 21st century, but no, you can find all these words, for instance, in uh, and the, 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 um, with the Belgian architect Victor Horta, there are before two things. There are be, therefore two things in architecture: a background composed of unchanging truth, and a form that varies continuously. But you can find exactly the same purpose. can find the same purpose with the critical regionalism by uh, the Anglo-American historian Kenneth Frampton. In fact, after my studies, I, I, I traveled and I spent, uh, spent some, some time with Frampton at Columbia. And I've realized that there were, uh, in, in the classical and modern uh, culture, um, a confusion between you know, universality and unity. In fact, the reality is that as far as humanity is concerned, only idiosyncrasy can lead to the universal. Idiosyncrasy refers to specificity and differences, shared values, common values, rich, rich with the culture, climate, geographies, etc., etc. The differences are found of what is shared, what is in common. The more you are part of a culture, the more you access to the universal. To help architecture to meet specificities and culture, frugality is a great tool. It passes by the bioclimatic conception, which inscribes the architecture in its context, in its logic, in a logic of exchange between air, ground, winds, humidity, sun, and the building between interior and exterior 
who co whose qualities is direct are directly uh, mixed. Yeah, this is, in fact, we we think more architecture through sections than from from the plan and and the forms. And we have to master the surrounding of the building to to give a good air inside the building. In fact, the initial oversight of culture as a significant aspect of sustainable development comes as a surprise, in fact. Yet the Brundtland reports specify that two concepts are inherent, inherent to this notion, the concept of needs, and more specifically of the essential needs of the most destitute, who should be given the highest priority, and the idea of a limitation that state that the state of our techniques and our local organization imposes on the capacity of the environment to respond to current and future needs. Culture, this is culture. And culture is no longer the context of our action, but really the very condition of its accomplishment. The situation calls for seeking in every place of work the particularity of the meeting between the society and its context. It is not a question of exploring retreat or isolation of communitarism, but whether it indeed to connect with what is actually in universal in the earth, in the heart of humanity. Here it is in Saint Christol near Montpellier for Wine Tourism Center Via Vino. In architecture and urban development, standing up professing cult culture allows, among other things, the rejection of the hegemony, hegemony of technical response to environmental crisis. It is not the rejection of technique, but the guarantee of the social aspect of projects and protection of the equitable part of the econ economy. The notion of need of state of techniques of social organization depends on the history of people, of cultures, coherent historical cultures, according to the French philosopher Paul Ricoeur. Even if we are seeing global awareness on the planet world situation, the means of action are contextualized and depends on culture in a strategy of available spread to materials of materials for people. Actor of human establishment knows it perfectly. A good idea is only carried out if it is understood, adopted and appropriated by those who will experience its execution. Since the beginning of my professional practice in the late 80s and, and, and the early uh, 90s, these principles have been implanted. Here in, in Brittany, 91, in the west part of France, in a small village of 900 inhabitants, during 10 years, we work with the citizens to, produ to produce a modern and Breton architecture, simplicity of forms, absence of decoration, local stone, the yellow granite, lime coating, local plants, ether and camellia, etc. At the same time in Paris, we are creating a modern and Parisian architecture, social housing filled with natural light, using vertical windows, wooden shutter and stepped back attic covered with zinc. And then this museum of a castle in Mayenne, center west of France, project almost invisible, a stratum of more in the archaeological, archaeological palimpsest in the uh, local wood structure, oak, uh, wood in structure, frontage, it is dismountable. It is refreshed with a climatic well, which also dries the walls of the courtyard. It is covered with copper and there is uh, an over roof um, in heart of scoat pines. In Saint-Nazaire, in the west part of France, along the Atlantic coast, these housings unit for sale and rent are naturally ventilated and controlled. It is the first and the only one in, to date in France. 
with bathrooms in, fa in facades, Louvre shutters, four meter side turrets made by the marine boil boiler man who built a chimney of liners uh, in the Saint Nazaire shipyard. In Corner Barrio near to Toulouse in the south, of, south, 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 south west part of France, this cultural complex includes a multi a media library, a conference room, and an auditorium. It is built in wood, in wood and raw earth structure, window, and carpentry for wood, and also heat with local wood. It is the first load bearing wall made in compressed, in compressed earth blocks in France. The natural ventilation chimney, um, which are also sheds to bring natural light, the, the lights in the media library, invents a new universe on the accessible roofs. And you see here the, this first wall in a, in a compressed compressed earth block of raw earth in France. The redevelopment of the reception and the management areas of the Sioux Forest in the south east of France has, has resulted in the rehabilitation of the hamlet of the eco guards on horseback, the installation of wood fire eating system, and the fit remediation of gray and brown waters at the scale of the large site, and the reconversion of the Auberge des Dauphins, uh, a reinforced concrete folly from the beginning of the 20th, 20th century. It, it's a copy of the Petit Trianon de, de Versailles. The conversion of the inn into a, a house, or a site house, consisted in scrupulous uh, reconversion, heritage reconversion, restoration, as you can see here, and the thermal uh, rehabilitation. Wood wool insulation, double wooden window, addition of a hidden serving volume of square post and beam, wood structure, and wooden structure facets. The, the National Botanic Conservatory of Brest, the western part of France, keeps the second college, the second world, world collection of rare seeds. It is, it is a mixed structure, concrete, concrete for the lower part, wood for the floor and the roofs, steel for the bioclimatic climatic greenhouse that, that protects from the cold winter climate of the, the valley of the site. The, the, the facets are insulated with straw, and it is the largest building, public building insulated with straw in France, more than 2020. Um, balls, balls. The sloping roofs, roofs are with uh, vegetate are vegetated with uh, for a good integration in the site and also for good thermal um, performance. The wood is painted with vegetable uh, oil based. The temperature and humidity of the greenhouse is regulated by opening windows and mobile blinds, and more and and a, a thirty thousand liter tank is uh, installed for rainwater harvesting. This house is in is in the center of France between the Connect region and the border and the Bordeaux region. This perched building is built on local wood, maritime pines and heavy limestone for the stone. The structure, the facade, the woodwork, the roofing and are made of wood. The building is naturally ventilated. The summer comfort is completed by steers. The yes the, and the uh, and for the winter the comfort is based on a wood boiler room or machines, and natural natural light is omnipresent. In fact, rehabilitation occupies a lot of our studio. Uh, we we destroy as less as possible. For example, for this cellar and wet room in Cantagrone in Bordeaux on the Atlantic coast. We keep recent part of cement blocks. And, and all we add is without Poland cement, nothing. We still use, uh, we use steel for only industrial process. And especially we use local wood, maritime pines and Douglas pine, raw earth, adobe and compressed 
earth block insulation of wood, insertion of wood, wool, and cork. This is the structure of where you see the use of wood and the, the, the adobe uh, wall here. The cooling of the cellar is done by a climatic well, no climatization, no air conditioning. The rainwater is collected. All brown and gray water is uh, phyto phytoremediated. The paints are made with linseed oil and fluor, etc., etc. You see the stone, the wood, the earth, and the building, uh, and the future building. And this is the cellar, and this is the um, uh, uh, the vet room. And I, I will finish with this uh, building. Uh, as I say, we destroy as less as possible. And th this one is in Paris. We are at actually uh, currently building the James Baldwin Media Library in the 19th arrondissement of Paris and the first refugee house of, in Paris. Instead of destroying this building and that one, uh, this building where a uh, hotel school called Jean Carré, we decided to preserve them, to clean their structure, to reinforce the, the prefabricate, I'm sorry. Excuse me, the better is to do like this. No, well. Yes, we, so we keep these buildings and we add a link between these two buildings. The, the House for Refugee is here, the, the Media Library is there, and there is a, a common a space for them just in the angle. So there is a selective deconstruction um, that allows to the reuse of many elements on the sites and in the local channel. This, this goes for local channel of reuse materials. We, we had to, to deconstruct uh, some uh, floors, as you can see here. All the elements deconstructed are kept on the site. And in fact, the, the building is becoming the query of its uh, reconversion project. Of course, the approach is bioclimatic. So we have to open this structure, which was a closed structure. We open it by deconstructing the center. So the light, the winds could go through, as you can see. To to go to to give to get this kind of spaces for the lecture, and we do this with this uh, wooden element. In each window, we add this wooden element, where you have uh, the entrance, the inlet for air for natural ventilation. Here, uh, here are two windows, protected. One is uh, as a fixed protection, so you open it during the night, so you have a fresh air and uh, in animals or, or uh, could not enter in the building. And here you can open during the day and you protect yourself by a uh, shirt, by uh, louvers. As you can see in other places, uh, you, you can work here by sitting uh, along the, the windows. And of course, uh, as it is bioclimatic, we work on the uh, surrounding. To be, to be sure that the air inside is good. So we, we reduce the, uh, re reduce the, the um, where the, the, the ground was less permeable, permeable, uh, well, well, was not, it's better now. 
and when the uh, from the instance you see the uh, the library the maison des réfugiés and between the link and of course the link is is made with uh, natural materials there are wood and wood from the uh, from the the, lo the local uh, forests and here it is a um, uh, oak it's pedunculate oak to you, you, the excuse me, but the wood is used for the structure, for the windows, and also for this protection uh, over the building, protection to the sun. This is the space inside, from outside, and you see there earth, and this earth is a. Uh, it is there. It is poured earth. As you can see here, um, it, in fact, it, um, I think the the future uh, of the uh, for many companies who are invested in 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 um, um, in in construction with cement, cement, or the the future is this use of uh, of earth. We have a structure inside. It is a wooden structure. Uh, we also use straw uh, um, to create the link and to obtain this result, as you can see. And the end will be this uh, this project, existing building maintained for, uh, of course, sustainable reasons. And what is built is built with uh, natural materials. And, and to finish, I just want to to pay another tribute to the people of uh, of uh, Le Prêcheur in La Réunion. Um, in fact, uh, regarding the meaning of nature in architectural work, work, and because it is no longer a question of discussing architecture by oneself, other and the great other, but also with the earth, a path being is a path is being opened. May we should learn to speak Earth, that language that does not know how to separate elements from one another any more than it does mankind from uh, elements. And if it has to start with a few words, I could willingly learn and teach presence, the impersons, the in common and the living. I, I wrote these words uh, 20 years ago, and maybe today I think we can say maybe we should learn to speak architecture, that language that does not know how to separate elements from another any more than it does mankind from the elements. Thank you very much. <laughs>